Yeah, bien. No, no, no. No, you don't want to do this with mommy, but look. Okay, you're going to do it with you. Coming. <laughs> Can you say hi? <gasps> oh. Oh, is Caspian out of the way? Oh. No, oh, but he went around. Sorry. That's yeah, okay. Go away. How are you doing? Great. Hey, How are hey, you? Hey. Come, wait, wait, wait. Come, come back, come back. Yeah. Don't worry, I got this. Watch this, guys. Hi. Where Standing on the side of the bridge. It's a covered, covered bridge. bridge. Probably not a good idea. I'm safe. I got one, both feet on the ground. I'm good down there because sure. I'm going to walk down there. And I'm she's going to show you guys me down there. All the way down the bottom? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tell mommy what you're doing. What are you doing? <laughs> so, mommy, what are you doing? What are you doing, Kathian? Best player! Best! Splash water! Splash water! Oh. <laughs> Did it get you? <laughs> Do you need more? Why? Throw it in, Bryce. Done in 2000, 2003. Oh. About 10 years after Bryce, the other. Bryce, come in here. So, no. Bryce, 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 tell us about the rocket ship. Oh, the rocket ship? Yeah. Um, it. Th this one was um not the. This one was actually the one that went into space and sent the 12 astronauts into space to get to the moon. The first one, I think. That was it. wasn't the first. One. Oh, it wasn't oh. the first one, Daddy says. And, yeah. But, but still, still, still. still. It was pretty the most cool, powerful. right? Yeah. It was the most powerful. It was the most powerful, though. That is awesome. That thing yeah. is tall, too, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's some. It's 300, probably something in the air. Something. Three, I think it said it's 363 feet. Okay. 363 feet? I think that's what it said. Oh. I'm going to go get the baby. Find daddy. Where's daddy? Hi. Show mommy. <laughs> Did you find him? You did find daddy. Hi guys. Oh, oh no, we got to <laughs> Oh man, drop a jam.
Okay, so this is Peel House. So supposedly this cabin's haunted. I didn't get the full story, so maybe we can look that up and add it in somewhere. But supposedly this one's haunted, so as far as I know, you can rent it. So let's go take a look. So I did a little research on why this was haunted. There is actually a lot of haunted buildings in this area, but I think this one is one that may be a little confused. Um, it's called the Peel Cabin, but there is also a Peel Mansion. I think it was near Birmingham, Alabama. Um, it has a lot of hauntings around it, and that story seems very similar to the one that people tell about the cabin. Basically, there was 13 children lived in this cabin. One of them was a little girl that passed away. I could not figure out how she passed away. Never found that info. Um, but they say that you can see her around the cabin and around the park looking for her dolly and singing Ring Around the Rosie. That's kind of the, the ghost story behind it. Um, however, there's so much history in this park. I could definitely see it being an area for hauntings with no problem just because of all the past and but this was a very neat park and it would be pretty cool maybe to do a, a ghost investigation if you did that kind of thing because that would be awesome. Eel Lines, Bibb County on an original land grant signed by President Andrew Jackson. Hi. And gifted Hello. to you know, by B. Carter Thompson in 1974. The kitchen was separated from the main structure by a boardwalk. The original home of Barney, Mr. and Mrs. Barney Thompson and their children. Their are 10 children. There are yes, 10 children. Hey. Yes. They had, so Bryce, they had 10 kids in this yes, cabin. Hey. 10 kids in this cabin. Hey. All right, let's check it out. Don't think we can go inside though, Catherine. Come on. I, I just like this. Isn't that cool? I just want to make sure he doesn't fall off the side. Mom, I think this one of the engines you crank. Be careful, baby. Yeah, it could be, Bryce. Mom, stop You got a fire box. They got out of the water. Yeah. I'm thinking you can open those doors. I think you can. Hey, hey. There's fire in here. Mom, fire. Yeah. You see fire it? in there? I did see that. Fire. I did see the flowers. Oh, fire. Smell the flowers. Okay. Smell the flowers. Oh, yeah. Look, you can, you can see it here. Yeah. Looks like there's toilet paper and stuff in there, so people use it for something. Yeah. Maybe it's going to be for storage, but they use it. The There's a window AC in it, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. either. Oh. Is here doing all the work. Yeah, Bryce do all the work. Just here for emotional support. <sighs> Man, I'm pretty sure. Now, pretty sure that's not how that works. I don't know. I don't think it is. Probably either. not. Woo, he's helping them. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. How's the weather over there? Uh, it's about 45 and a little chilly. How about your side? About the same? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's but it's like Okay. Hey, Mom. 
Um, how you, how you yeah. hanging, Bryce? Good. Okay. Does anybody know um, which furnace he fell down? Well, they they said it was furnace one, but I haven't went down there to investigate. But I know one of the furnaces got destroyed. I don't know how or what happened, but one of them got destroyed. It may be that furnace. I don't know. We'll have to try to read some of the plaques and things when we get down there. Only okay. part of it got destroyed. Only part of it? They blew it open in the entrance. There's still some of it's there. Why do they why do they do that? Vandals. Wow, some, really? Yeah, vandals did it in 1968, I think is what it was. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Was it oh I found that down there. It's a little purple flower. Signs of spring Aww. coming. Signs of spring. Yeah. All right. <laughs> spring, yeah, you don't even know what spring is, crazy kid. Let's go. Okay, so Bryce is leading the way, I think. Bryce is leading the way. is the furnaces behind us are haunted. Um, we didn't realize it until we got down here, but a lot of the area has haunted stories, which is pretty cool. But the reason this one is haunted is because, now I'm just retelling what's told to me, so I probably don't have it 100% correct. But one of the furnaces you see in the background, so it was furnace number one. So, I mean, one of these over here. So one of the furnaces, so a slave worker, that was the most trusted by his master was sent into town every week to gather wages and bring them back. On his way back to town one day, he was stopped on the side of the road and he was robbed. And the slave knew that it would be worse for him to return without the wages because no one would believe that he was robbed and that he did not take them. So he came back and he was so distraught on what to do that he climbed up to the top of the furnace and he jumped in. Now these furnaces, I believe, get to 2400 degrees he jumped in and after they got the furnace stopped all they were able to salvage of his body for the family was a small piece of iron and that was all they had to bury him with so it's pretty sad and ghost haunts this area trying to find the rest of his body so we're here during the day i doubt we're going to see any ghost so if you're still with us and you made it this far thank you for watching our video we're going to end with some shots of the old mill that we found on one of our hikes if you love to hike this is a must do park it has so many trails we couldn't even get to everything like the two weeks we were there mind you we were working and stuff too but it is amazing and poor bryce thought i was taking his picture that's why he kept he keeps standing still he didn't realize i was recording but we just want to say thank you so much for the likes and the follows and for subscribing we really appreciate that we promise to get more videos out soon it's just really hard to stay in and edit when you have all these amazing things to go do because every place you go, even at the campgrounds alone, there is so much stuff to go do. But we're going to get better. We're going to get more videos out to you guys. And we really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.